When you proposed this new form of torture, yeah, where we going? We all laughed behind your back. Of course you did. People called you names, like the Thomas Edison of incompetence, or that dick. <laughs> but against all odds, it seems you've pulled it off. Wow. Your humans are experiencing emotional torture at the same level of physical torture created by our squeakiest eyeball corkscrews. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing now. If Vicky, this is gonna be, it's gonna be, okay. It depends whether Vicky gets wind of this, but then would Sean believe her? Mmm, do you know what I mean? Cause like, this is the thing. Always email, always have a paper trail. Do you know what I mean? Cause at this point, unless Vicky has actually, um, I suppose all of the other eternal ones here can attest to the fact that she has been in charge. Mm, I don't know. It could go diff a few different ways. I'm jubilant. <laughs> I love the half second linger. I'm getting a seat on the High Council. We will great. Wow. The High Council. You will oversee the entire project. Wow. You are being promoted. Wow. Okay. I, he doesn't want to go, maybe. Your senior staff pin. <laughs> this is everything you've ever wanted. Th Don't think it is anymore. This is everything I've ever wanted. Used to be, maybe. This is everything I've ever wanted. Ah. Uh, You're really happy? I'm basically squealing like a birthday girl. I kind of want to see that, though. I don't think he does anymore. This is the, th and I think that's what he's maybe gonna come to realize. At some point we should finish discussing yesterday's event. Or do you mean when we saw that cool cloud? Mm, what was cool about it? Perhaps later after Michael briefs us on how we're going to be fake tortured today, we can just sit down and have a chat. That'd be nice. Good idea. But tell me about the cloud. Yo, GD. Yeah. You wanna hear about a cool cloud? <gasps> yes! No shot! Sure. Right, if I don't find out about this cloud. You're all in the bad place. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> System of torture design. His face. <laughs> We're in the bad place? Beautiful, Eleanor. We'll be shutting this place down. Wow. We will be brought to the real bad place. Oh. Brains will be removed, studied. Oh God. Like those old farts were gonna provide guidance. Have you read Fear and Trembling? It's not quite as, it's interesting how his performance, he's performing it in a way, and, and there is, I think, a distinction of, he's not as gleeful anymore, because this is fake. This is all fake, right? And he's not happy about this, because I think the reality in the Michael that we were getting was was genuine. I think we've seen that the last, you know, few episodes. And it's so interesting watching him don this robe of bad place eternal again. And it doesn't quite fit in the same way. He's not quite comfortable. He's not gleeful about this anymore, right? As much as I don't think that part of him is gone, this is what I mean. I think there's been a shift of goal and motivation for him. He's become a different person. He's not this person anymore. So, and, and it's really nice that you can see that in the performance. How long will it take you to shut down the neighborhood? Better part of a day. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have a farewell party here tonight? He played beer pong with Jason's testicles. Okay, so it's gonna have to happen now. If they're gonna make a break for it and get out, it's gonna have to happen now because otherwise these guys have all gone. Sean's coming in. It's gonna be interesting as well if that happens because like we saw in the scene before this with him and Sean, this was everything he ever wanted and he finally got it and suddenly it's not enough because I, I just, I just, sorry, I, I'm just repeating myself, but it's just so interesting to see that shift. Anyway, anyway, Michael's gotta approach Vicky and get this past her. Or like I say, just flee. I love you guys so much, except for you, Jason, because I hate you. <laughs> Guess what? I'm in line. <laughs> Can't believe Michael betrayed us again. No, I think it's fake this time. Could have seen this coming. No one can ever truly turn over a new leaf. Come on, guys. I think it's going to be Eleanor that, that puts this together. And I think it's going to be as a result of the end of last episode and the conversation, the one-on-one -on -one they had. Michael coming to her and being like, it's hard. How are you doing it? You know, I think she was looking at him very much like, what's going on? What is this? Sean clearly doesn't know that Michael has rebooted this neighborhood 800 times. Mm -hmm. He trade that information for some kind of reduced sentence yeah she's thinking about last last night come on eleanor i vote we no sorry and no offense Jay. Hmm. but the stakes here are too high to let someone with your limited intellectual processing capacity do you know what i was going to agree with you oh great well that's two <laughs> <for my> <laughs> sorry i was going to be like i kind of agree with her because i'm so sorry but like i just think of brexit and quite frankly some people should not be allowed to vote it's a dangerous it's a dangerous road i'm not going to go down it but like Mm. Neither. Mm -hmm. I vote we ignore everything Michael just said and blindly assume he's still on our side. Nicely done. Who's with me? Yeah! When all this started, you're the one who told us that Michael wasn't- Things have changed, man. For one very specific and rock-solid reason. Mm -hmm. What's his name? <laughs> Kierkegaard. 
I think he was sending us a message. Mm -hmm. Like a leap of faith. Probably better translated as a leap into faith. It's so hard to be your friend. Yeah. <laughs> I had a long talk with him the other night. Dude was shook. Yeah. Maybe Michael jumped back to the dark side, but I don't think so. Mm hmm. I think he's gonna help us escape. I think it's time. I think we gotta go to the cops. No. Where do you think we are? <laughs> don't answer that. Humans make a lot of mistakes when they're horny. Very true. Oh God, here we go. Boss, give me a second here. We gotta have a talk. This can work out great for both of us if we play our cards right. Exactly. This is the thing. Uh, I mean, maybe there's a gambit Vicky could make of being like, this is the situation, this is what happened. And if Sean does believe her, maybe there's some possibility of her taking Michael's place. Mm, mm, it's, it's a gamble. Been in charge of this version? Go on, what you got, mate? We're gonna find out that there've been hundreds of failed versions. Mm -hmm. If that happens, we're all going down. Fine. Well, yeah, she was easy to persuade. More easy to persuade than I thought. Because quite frankly, like what? The the good, the version that stuck has been hers. The comedy roast. Beautiful. No, they don't. All we need is a defense and, a, <laughs> and an offense and some rule changes. <laughs> Just has to put on a show for the other demons. Bless Eleanor for being solid. Grace, sophistication, but enough about your sister. Ouch. Eleanor and I have a lot in common. You do? I consider you one of my closest Not friends. Not now, dude. <laughs> because no one likes Cheaty. I like Cheaty. Knock, knock. Who's there? You died alone because you couldn't commit to anyone. You died alone because you couldn't commit to anyone. Who? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him for that so much. Commit to anyone who? <laughs> no. <Jason Mendes laughs> the no. Let's tear this mother to the ground. So interesting, isn't it? How we are kind of getting a bit of a status quo rule, like change again, right? The show again, not letting you settle for too long. For I think long enough to enjoy what we're getting, right? The stuff, the philosophy. We've had a few episodes where we've made a lot of progress and I think that kind of like arc, if you want to call it that, has been very satisfying. And I think we've lingered in it enough that to leave it, I'd be like, that served its purpose. I got a lot out of it. The show lingered in it just enough for it to do what it should have done in that, you know, we saw a lot from Michael. We've seen obviously Elena Chidi to Harney Jason. We've seen a lot of progress from them. Janet as well. They all lingered in that and got something out of it. Look, you know, they absolutely could stay in that for another couple episodes and then move on. And we, I think they could still write enough good stuff that you'd still feel like you're enjoying the show and it's good and you know what I mean? But again, while the pan's hottest, while the show is absolute fire, they're like, like, nope, done. We're done with that. New pan. And they start something new. In whatever's gonna have to come next now. And Michael isn't on our side. I think he was enjoying that a lot, actually. But I do still think he's on your side. This is the thing. I can't imagine a reality where Michael actually does regress. I just, I do have a lot of faith in him. And maybe I'm a sucker. Maybe I'm the sucker for that. That's fair. But I just, I do. I have a lot of faith in him. I do. And, and I'm gonna stick by it. That roast was the meanest thing I've ever seen. It wasn't that mean, guys. It really wasn't. He's gonna torture us for eternity. I think he's on your side. Because again, they're taking it personally, which, fine, fair. But what was Michael supposed to do in that situation? That's what they've got to be asking themselves. And Eleanor was, and I think, like I say, the personal stuff has just got to him. But they've got to stay strong. They do. In that situation, he's got to fulfill that part, and, and he is. Derek Bortles is a dumb name. Derek. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, 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 we go in, mate. I told you. Enjoy yourself. Rip the cat in half. It's a party, Vicky. <laughs> so he's with us. What does Michael keep whispering to you? Help me get these bracelets off the Janet. The humans are escaping. It's Michael. <laughs> I accuse Vicky. She asked me to help her take Janet's bracelets off. Beautiful. She's jealous. They're turning against each other. No, he's lying. Listen to yourself. You sound crazy. Yeah, that's what you need. You aided the humans just to spite Michael. You're not a demon. Beautiful. You've turned them against her, that's what you needed. That's what you needed, because now whatever she says, they're not gonna believe it. Well done. I bet they're still here somehow. This place stretches for us. Mm -hmm. She's right. Michael's face there was like, mm. oh, where have you put him? Oh, well, Derek, sorry, the, the void. I actually did find something for Vicky. <laughs> and as for Vicky, no, wait. Oofed. Yeah, so they're... okay. You guys. Oh. I was so scared for you. I told you. Oh. You're my friends and I. Oh. <laughs> Thank give, you. Give, yes, give it's him okay, a hug. Bud. Oh, Michael, we never doubted you for a moment. 
Birdie. Stop You're lying. lying, though, right? Yes, yep. I am. I doubt you very strongly. Mm -hmm. Kierkegaard, baby. Leap of faith. It's yeah. Better translated as a leap into faith. You remember? He's learning. <laughs> yes. Oh, the dream team. I figured out the first clue. No, you didn't. <laughs> There's no way Michael would have forgotten the name Blake Wardles. You say it a million times a day. Because <laughs> he's the best. Does he? Let's split up. Very casual, guys. Well done. You roll together. Guys are the worst. Yeah. He said my entire life was pointless and empty. Focusing on the wrong things. You know what the worst moment of... Oh, he looks beautiful. This is exactly the place you should be. Beautiful. I told the same thing. I told Pippa Middleton right before we went paragliding in Gibraltar. Let's go. You know you can just say let's go. Where are we supposed to hide? Oh no. The truck. <laughs> train is here. It's a train. <laughs> Maximum daring. <laughs> they actually left you more than 1,200 clues. Wow. How primitive your brains are. Okay. No need to get personal. I'm not ethically proud of this. It's fine. I framed Vicky. Absolutely fine. I approve. Just kept whispering things into Janet's ear to make her yeah. paranoid. Fully fake. Fair enough. Something, something, Vicky. Something, something. <laughs> and that made her try. I had the errant thought when this all happened. I was like, all he has to do is make it look like he's whispering and she would get suspicious. I can't, this is the thing, this is why, this is, okay, so people who are like, oh, Tyler, you talk too much, the reason is, is because so often this happens, where I don't say something, and then it happens to be the thing that I thought, and I never said it, and then I just say it afterwards, but then people could absolutely, and validly, absolutely, fairly validly be like, no, Tyler, you didn't say it, you're just making stuff up, you just want to be right, you just want to be right at all costs, mate, it's, it's unattractive, you should stop doing that, stop it, this is why I say it, everything. It was funny, though. Right. Absolutely not. Was perfect. I mean, mm. guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like Michael and Eleanor's friendship. I do because I do think they have that little bad streak in them that I I think they find a lot of kind of kinship with. I really hope Mindy liked the present we sent her. Beautiful. Coke. Got to be Coke, right? Come on. Repay you. Here's a willing sex robot and two duffel bags full of Coke. Beautiful. Here are wind chimes where my ding dong should be. Mm. Interesting, isn't it? Really. I can work with that. Yeah, of course you can. Mate, two bagfuls of coke? Of course you can. Be embarrassing if you couldn't. All right, there we go. That was Leap to Faith. A pretty much a transitional episode, right? Not much there other than, I suppose, solidifying in our minds and in the show where Michael and his trajectory is and how solid that is, right? Everything that we've been seeing, it's not a lie. Again, you know, like you've seen me the, the whole episode kind of being like, I, I believe Michael. I, I trust Michael. It's nice to see. And again, I mean, this is the thing that comes back to this relationship that I really like between him and Eleanor and how actually I do think him and Eleanor are friends. I, I, I think Eleanor and Michael's relationship just transcends a little bit deeper than Michael does with the rest of them. There's something a little bit closer between them and I think you see it right at the end there where they find a little bit of common ground in the bad thing and Michael has this little smile just for her. It's really nice. It's really, really nice. I, I really like that. And like I say, if not for Eleanor, because everyone else lost faith, having that faith in him, they got through it. Like I say, transition episode into something else it's like where do you go from here and I think yeah it's gonna be interesting to see where we go I mean I don't think pff, dude this is the problem is that I know there's four seasons we're in season two kind of getting towards the end of season two wild to thought we're not even do you know like, we've got like five more episodes one two three four more episodes of season two do you know what I mean so we're not even I guess we're probably building up to a finale but we're not really I would say close to a finale, do you know what I mean? But big things are happening. And like I say, so arguably not even halfway through the show itself, the entire thing. This is, so okay, that's where my brain goes. It's like naturally you can't have them get to the good place, but that's not quite true. You can, you can, but what you can't have is them stay there and have it be a happy ending because obviously we've got two more seasons. Do you know what I mean? So maybe they go to the good place and it doesn't last. And then maybe we start to get to a place where, I don't know, we meet more people from the good place. We meet more people like Michael or even like Sean, I mean, Sean mentioned a high council as well. So do you know what I mean? There's definitely different hierarchies in the eternal ones kind of makeup of their social scape, I suppose. So I wonder whether we'll maybe get to a good place. Maybe we'll meet somebody. Maybe we'll find allies. I mean, they're obviously going to want to help. They're going to want to be empathetic, right? If we find the counterparts for the good place, like Michael, they are going to be powerful people that you can get on your side if you be honest and, and present the situation to, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it's interesting, actually. I do wonder whether we'll go to the good place. Obviously, that's not the end. That kind of wants to be the end, right? The end point, but it's not going to be. It can't be because it's, like I say, two more seasons. And so, yeah, yeah, I wonder if we'll go there and then we'll kind of get some allies. Maybe there'll be a fight 
fight between the two. I don't know. I, I think more and more we're building towards this, a status quo shift, a huge shift. I think that's where the, sh the end of the series has got to go. Oh, if this good place and bad place, it's not working. So we'll see. We'll see. But that was episode eight, season two. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hey, if you want to support me, early access to all my content down below in the description, Patreon and YouTube memberships, both the exact same. Just depends where you want to go, mate. Thank you, as always, to those who do support me. Thank you genuinely, genuinely, genuinely. Thank you so much. That's all for me, but more good plays coming soon. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. But other than that, see you later. Thank you once more. Have a great week. See you next time.